Hi, this is John Schneider from Fargo 3D Printing here at CES 2016. I'm now at the Robo 3D booth talking with Braden from Robo 3D. So, Braden, can you tell us a little bit more about what you guys have going on at the show this year? Yeah, uh, so I'm Braden. I'm one of the founders of Robo 3D. We started about three years ago. Um, really, at that point, we were building 3D printed prosthetics okay. using big industrial expensive machines and realized there's got to be a better solution, it's too expensive for us. So. We kind of morphed into a company building our own 3D printer, which we didn't realize was going to end up selling like crazy. But right. that's this model right here, which is our R1 Plus version 3D printer. Um, since then, what we're showing at this event is two new models we're coming out with this year. So when we were building our 3D printer, we realized there was a couple things we couldn't fit in for the price point. Right now, our current version is $700. Right. So we wanted to add all those features into a machine. So we basically built a, a list of the must-haves, the wishes, and the wants, and we got everything into this model. So mobile connectivity, uh, full-color touchscreen, dual extrusion, everything you'd want in a 3D printer, so. Very cool. And, well, you guys are, did you start out on Kickstarter, correct? Yes. One of, the, one, of the few, one of the few Kickstarter companies that are still really going strong. We, we talk a lot about different companies. Uh, what do you think contributed to you still being a company after, after doing all the Kickstarter stuff? You know, it, it's interesting. So we basically built the entire company off of $1,000. $1,000 got us our first prototype. It was actually a wooden case that we launched a Kickstarter campaign with. So it was completely built out of wood by us, by hand. Um, but what happened was when we launched that Kickstarter campaign, you know, we ended up selling 1,100 units. It allowed us to go, okay, this concept is proven. People want the lower price, good looking 3D printer basic solution. It's sort of a best value machine. And, um, and so that gave us kind of the jump start to get the business started. And it just took a lot of perseverance to make it happen. I mean, we weren't manufacturing experts, um, nothing like that. We came out, we traveled overseas quite a bit. We got our manufacturing set up and, and you know, and we just made it happen. We were able to deliver our product and then continue production post that. So I guess now, first of all, that's an awesome story. Yeah. And <laughs> it's, it's, we love seeing the Kickstarter companies that are able to get it figured out and yeah. keep things going. So now back to the new machine. So what, is, what are some of the other things that really set them apart from, from the R1? Yeah, so we're pretty much packing every feature that would be in a probably three, four, five thousand dollar machine into something that's going to be probably closer to the $1,500 range. Okay. So we're, it's still a prosumer version, but I mean, we use 3D printers from not just us, we've used them from a bunch of other manufacturers as well. And we're looking at where are all the pain points and where are the sacrifices made in other machines. And we really said we don't want to sacrifice, we want to put it all in one machine and include it at a good price point that the majority of people that want to buy a higher end machine can't afford. So this thing has, I mean, I can't even think of something that it doesn't have. It's open source, which is awesome, so you can still print any material that's out in the marketplace. But on top of that, you know, it is a very plug and play machine with the ability to go in and tinker with it. So people still have that option. You can change the extruders out, you can put like paste extruders into it, you can you can do whatever you want with it. You're not forced to just send it back to the manufacturer if something's wrong. You can still get in and play with it, but it still has that functionality of being a, like an easy plug and play machine. So the new machine pricing, availability, is any of that announced yet? Uh, the pricing is not set yet on the two new models. Um, the availability will be probably sometime in April to May. Um, but uh, it, we're going to keep it under $2,000 for the R2 model, and the mini version of it will be sub $1,000. So. All right, very cool. Well, Braden, thanks again for taking the time to chat with me. Uh, it's been very cool to learn more about your company, more about the new products. I hope you have a good rest of, yeah. the, uh, rest of the show. Yeah, thank you guys All so right. much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Cool. All right, thanks again, man. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Uh,